In this tutorial, we will walk you through the steps needed to complete a basic structural analysis. For the purpose of this example, we will use a sample bracket provided in the Discovery Live user interface. Right away, you can see a simulation begins as all boundary conditions, including material, support locations, and loading have been defined. Let's right click on the structural solution and delete it as we will create a new simulation from the ground up. Click on Create Solution in the Structural Behavioral Simulation. Here you can define the material or at any time change it. Click Create and let's start making boundary conditions. I'll right click two whole locations and say those are fixed supports. You'll see those now show up in the Solutions panel on the left. Next, click on any face and you have the option of several different load types. I'll choose a new force and type in the direction. Now I want the load to go in the negative Z direction, so I'll type in negative 1000 newtons and hit enter. Since I have all boundary conditions established, the solution begins right away. Some important options to note in the results display control are different ways to look at stresses. Try the different rendering methods depending on the particular data you're after and which view provides the most useful feedback to you. The composite display is a semi-transparent, smoke-like rendering. The center slider decides what value is at the center of the spectrum, and the bandwidth decides how far reaching the display extends. Next is the inverse surface, which shows a stress distribution only on surfaces behind the immediate viewable ones. Isosurface creates surface bodies only of a certain value. And finally, MIP is a unique display showing the highest stress concentration at any pixel on your screen. Regardless of the display type, you can adjust the scale by dragging an arrow up or down and at any time click Reset to return to the default settings. Also, clicking in the legend will toggle between a smooth or abrupt color transition. At any point, in looking at your results, you can click a cross-section button to view in a handy cross-section mode. And finally comes the animation of the displacement. Here you can adjust the speed and extent of the displacement or show the true deformation. As you simulate a structural loading, be sure to experiment by adding, removing, or editing geometry as you see fit. We're confident Discovery Live will rapidly give you newfound insight into your designs. Thank you for watching and please visit ansys.com discovery for more information.